so many of us here today. We are going to talk about, do you remember what we talked about last week at church? Was anyone here last week? Alice, do you remember? Who loves you? God, yes, exactly. And this week we're going to talk about how we, as little kids or anyone else, how we love God. So can you think of something that you love or someone that you love apart from God? They might be sitting right next to you, Jonah. You love your dad? Yep. What about you, Mia? Who do you love? <laughs> you like your... Well, everyone loves their dads, don't they? That's right. So you can, you can love other people. Now, are there things that you love as well? What are some things you love? Alice, do you love horse riding? Is that right? Yes? Oh, cinnamon. Oh my gosh. The best ever. I love cinnamon too. Me, what do you love? You like your beanie boo. Rainbow dog. Well, rainbow dog looks lovely. Well, I'm gonna you're gonna think about those are some things you love, but we're gonna think about how we can love God and what it looks like if we are loving God every single day. So the Bible tells us that we need to love God with all our heart and with all our soul, and with all our strength. So can you guys stand up and we'll practice that together. If you love him with all your heart, that means that will make you happy. You'll feel like God loves you and you'll know that you love him and that will make you feel joyful. So with all our hearts, you're going to jump into the air because you're going to be joyful and full of joy that you love God. Okay, ready? You love God with all your heart and with all your soul means that God is your king and he's the only king and you're going to give your life to him. So with all your soul, God is your king. And with all your might, it means that all your strength, everything you're going to do, you're going to think, is this the thing that God wants me to do? And you can love God by doing the things that he wants you to do. Okay, so let's practice that again. How are you going to love God this week? You're going to love him with all your heart. That's going to make you feel joyful. You're going to love him with all your soul and you're going to make him your king. That's right. And you're going to love him with all your might. So everything you do, you're going to do it for God. Okay? And do you know what the Bible tells us? Jesus said that that's the most important thing you can ever learn from the Bible. That sums up all the things he's going to tell you. is to love God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. And the Bible today tells us if you do that, if you really do love God with all your heart, and so, and might, then you'll just want to talk about it all the time and it will bubble out of you and you'll be someone who's always talking about God. So there's two things I want you to try to remember this week. We can all try and do this. Is I want you to pick something that you do every day. What's something that you do every day, Alice? School and riding. All right. Well, maybe every time you get on your horse, you can tell God that you love him. Okay. Or what's something you do every day, Jonah? Do you brush your teeth every day? Yep. Yeah. Maybe every, every time you brush your teeth, you can tell God that you love him. So pick something that you do every day and that will remind you that today I'm going to try and love God. So maybe I like to do it when I'm brushing my teeth in the morning. You can be brushing and you can say, God, today I'm going to love you with all my heart and all my soul and all my strength. And... It also tells us that we're going to talk to each other about how much we love God. So who's someone that you talk to every day? Mia, do you talk to your mama every day? Yeah? Or to Rainbow Dog? Or maybe at the end of the day, you can tell Rainbow, Go Rainbow Dog or you can tell your mummy or maybe while you're sitting around the dinner table, you can talk about something that God has done for you today or something that he gave you or someone nice that he sent to give you to do something kind for you or something that you could do for God to tell him. So they're the two things we're going to try and remember this week. You're going to pick one thing that you do every day, and when you're doing it, you're going to tell God that you love him. And then you're going to pick someone that you talk to every day. So in the Connery house, we do this. We all sit down to have dinner, and we all think of something that God has done for us today. So that's a good We talk about it together. So you're going to think of someone that you can tell about how you love God or what he's done for you today, okay? So they're your two things to remember. So you've got some homework to do this week. 
You've got to pick those two things. So, Mia, what are you going to pick? Maybe brushing your teeth? Yeah? And Alice, who are you going to tell about? What God's done for you today? You can t- tell your mum? That's a great idea. I think I'm going to pick, I'm going to tell Warren, because I talk to him every day, and I think I'm going to pick having breakfast, because I do that every day. So that's what I'm going to try and do this week. So that's what I want you to remember. So let's pray together, and then you can go and do your sheets. And adults, if you want some sheets, we can do that. Oh, we're, oh, we're going to do the kids' song, and then we'll go and do our sheets. So let's pray together. What do you like to do when you pray? Get your hands out of the way. Close your eyes so you're not distracted. Perfect. Dear God, thank you that you love us and thank you that we can love you. Thank you that everyone from the smallest person here to the oldest can love you. Help us, Lord, to have that love bubble out of us so that we can tell you every day that we love you and we can tell the people around us that we love you and all the things that you have done for us. Amen.